welcome back to Breeze Books. I'm Brianna with another book haul. First, I got the Walt Disney's Treasury of Children's Classics. Um, it's basically just a collection of children's versions of classic Disney stories. Got some cool pictures in there, and apparently I've heard this is pretty rare, and I got it for $3 at a library sale, so it's pretty exciting. It's in pretty good condition, and I'm lucky to have gotten this. Next, I have The Girl Who Sword of a Fairyland and Cut the Moon in Two by Catherine M. Valente. I believe this is the third book in this series. I want to collect all of them and read them back to back because there's like five books already coming out so that have come out. So I picked up this because it was cheap. This is the only one I have of the series so far, but I'm hoping to collect the rest. Then I finally found a copy of Finnegan of the Rock by Melina Marchetta. I recently read Jellica Road by her and fell in love with it. And so I'm excited to pick up her fantasy series. Next is Beauty, Curie, Beauty Queens by Libba Bray. I've heard mixed things about this, but I'm intrigued enough to give it a try. And then Jacoby by William Ritter. I've heard really good things about this, so I really wanted to pick it up. It sounds good. Sounds like a um, Sherlock type book, but with a, a female Watson. It sounds very cool. And Starflower by Anne Elizabeth Stengel. She's another author that I've really been wanting to pick up. This is one of the books in her Goldstone Wood series. I just have to collect the rest of them. And then I found two more books by Susanna Kearsley, Mariana, and The Shadowy Horses in the updated covers, which are really cool looking. I already have The Winter Sea by her, so I really need to read that so I can get onto these. Then I found Crazy Rich Asians by Kevin Kwan. I've heard good things about this. I believe this re released this year or late last year, one of the two. And I've heard good things. It sounded pretty interesting and more out of my comfort zone, what I usually read. So thought it'd be cool to try. And it has a really soft cover. Next, I have book two in the All the Wrong Questions series by Lemony Snicket. This is When Did You See Her Last? I believe I read the first one and this one. I just have to pick up the last two books in the series. I think there's one or two more books to finish. And then I found the first volume of the Skip Beat manga by Yoshiki Nakamura. Um, I'm not sure if I'm going to like this one, but I thought it was cheap, so I'll give it a try for just the first volume. So I wanted to mention, I recently got an eBay package in with some wonderful bookmarks. They're pretty cool. They're translucent out of this like plasticky material, so they're really cool. And I don't know if you can tell, but these are all bookmarks from the Kamisama Kiss anime, which I love, and they're super cute, and they are now part of my bookmark collection. I found the final book in the uh, Princess Diaries series, Princess Forever by Meg Cabot. I thought I had all of them, but I forgot. I did not, I didn't realize I didn't have this one, and now it's actually complete. Um, if you don't count the novellas, I have all the full-length novels. Fantastic Mistakes, Neil Gaiman's Make Good Art Speech by Neil Gaiman, obviously, the book version of the speech, which I have not yet read, but I am all about being creative and embracing your creative side of your brain and stuff, so I thought I would read this and it would be cool to see what he says. Then I found The Golden Specific by S.E. Grove. This is the sequel to The Glass Sentence, which I still need to pick up, but it sounds really interesting. And Thanks for the Trouble by Tommy Walsh. Sounds pretty good. The Grand Tour by Patricia C. Reed and Carolyn Stevermer. Uh, this is the sequel to The Enchanted Chocolate Pot, I believe, um, in this um, Sorcery and Cecilia series. Then I found Of Bees and Miss. This is a adult literary fiction novel, I think, by Eric Setiwan. <laughs> I'm so sorry, that's awful. Um, sounds like a pretty interesting family drama and the cover was beautiful so I got it. And I found um, Mr. Lemoncello's Library Olympics. This is the, the, I think the third book in the Mr. Lemoncello's Library series by Chris Grabenstein. Unfortunately did not have a dust jacket with it but the book itself is in really good condition. And then I found at a thrift store I was amazed to find the first volume of Miss Marvel No Nar- Miss Marvel No Normal um, trade paperback bind up thing by Wilson and Alfana and I wasn't really interested in picking this up but since I found it so cheap I thought I might as well give it a try because <laughs> why not I can't help it I love graphic novels a lot now I have a book outlet unboxing that I've been 
resisting opening for far too long now. This was from their last sale thing they did. So let's see what I got. I remember a couple of things. I don't remember all of them. <gasps> oh my gosh, guys. I got a coupon. Do you know how long it's been since I've gotten a coupon? I didn't know they still did these. That's so exciting. Unfortunately, it's $5 off $35, which I hardly ever spend $35, but just in case, I have it. Seven books, three of them were a scratch and dent. So I got The Grace Mysteries by Grace Cavendish. This is includes the two, uh, this is a bind up of the two books, Assassin and Betrayal, and it was like only a dollar, so I figured should do that. Um, just sounds like a historic mystery kind of thing. Then I have Mystic City by Theo Lawrence. I have the sequel right here on my bookshelf, Toxic Heart. I got that from the dollar store, so I figured I might as well pick up the first book, and it was cheap, so I got that. Then I have Timekeeper by Alexandra Monier. This is the sequel to Timeless by her. I read both of these, and I remember enjoying them. And then I'm really excited about this one. Um, this is the RT... Artisan Soul by Erwin Raphael McManus. I read this already and it was really good. I really enjoyed it. It's smaller than I remember, um, but it was such a powerful nonfiction about using the gifts that God's given you and creating uh, a work of art with your life kind of a thing. And um, it's really, really good. I highly recommend this. Ooh, I forgot about this. And then I got The Girl at Midnight by Melissa Gray. I've heard good things about this. And the cover is purple, so yes. And even the inside is purple. And it just sounds like it's going to be a really good story. Then I got Hidden by Donna Jo Napoli. This is the sequel to Hush. Um, I'm really excited to read this series by her. I've liked um, some of her other stuff. And the last one is pretty chunky. It is um, Time of the Dragons by James A. Owen. This is a bind up of his third and fourth books in his dragon series, The Indigo King and the Shadow Dragons. I have the first bind up right here. So I have Dawn of Dragons and I have Time of the Dragons. So I have the first, these are the first four books in his series. So hopefully I like it because that is a lot of pages. Yeah. Okay. And that's all from, from my book haul, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'll see you next time. Bye.